time then. Let's start with something simple, shall we? What is your name? <sighs> Doctor The... Is that supposed to be some sort of code name? You're not one of those peace party hip huggers, are you? They always leave such a mess. I thought you were supposed to be interrogating me, not pulling baseless accusations out of the ample space between your ears. Do not try my patience, Doctor. You will find it wanting. Now tell me, who do you work for? <laughs> do you have any idea how many times I've been asked that? I tell you what... There is nothing more annoying than a boring interrogator. Why don't we see how bored you are with a broken wrist? Running out of ceiling fast, Hauser. Enough! Tell me what I want to know, or I take my frustrations out on your little friend. Oh, you're going to add compound interest to what's coming to you? <laughs> and what is coming to me. I haven't decided yet. Tell me, Hauser, what circumstances brought you to Gamma 77? What do you want? Fortuna owns 40% of the galactic market share. I always back the winning side. You should do the same, Doctor. Before things get... Nasty. Oh, come off it. We both know you're going to kill me and my friend the moment we cease to be useful. This is all just theatre. Knock me about a bit if we'll make you feel better. Maybe try a few of those nifty settings on your gun. Who knows? It might be therapeutic, but I promise you, Hauser, you are getting anything useful from me. Is that right? Afraid so. And besides... I've already picked the winning side. Oh, really? Well, let's see how confident you are about that after I've indulged in a little self-care. Does this uh, happen a lot? What? What do you mean, what? You mean being imprisoned with no obvious means of escape? Yeah. <sighs> More often than I'd like. <sighs> Figures. You have a plan? Yes, a rather clever one, actually. You see, Nora, we mount a daring escape. That is a goal, not a plan. <sighs> I suppose so. Nora? Don't. But I... Please, just... Just don't. I chose to open that door. Whatever happens, however this shakes out, I'm glad I came. So am I. You know, I've never gotten in trouble before. At least not like this. I, I never even got a detention in high school. Why not? I always love detention. It's the only way to really spend time with your friends. If I had any... Why wouldn't you have friends? You seem okay for... Well, one of you a lot. I don't know, I just... I get nervous, I guess. It's always been a barrier for me. Yes, well, you shouldn't let it. You know, I've had the privilege of travelling with quite a few friends of... Let's say a nervous disposition. And what happened to them? This isn't about them. It's about you. I did have a guinea pig. Oh, yeah. Formidable poker players, aren't they? I'll have to take you to their planet sometime. You, uh, you're kidding. Did I ever tell you I invented the banana daiquiri? Quite a funny story, actually. You see, what? I... What? No! Answer my question. What happened to those other companions, Doctor? 
I know what nervous looks like, too. They turned into the best and brightest. The bravest. Nora. Here they are, Director Rao. Congratulations on your promotion, by the Thank way. Thank you. Though I wish it could have come under better circumstances. Still, at least we've captured Director Drucker's killers. What? We didn't kill anybody. Don't lie to us. Why else would you be in Sector 4? You're obviously eco terrorists That's a lie. We decide what's true, little girl. It's all in the license agreement. What are you going to do with us? Turn this crisis into an opportunity, you know? I think that sounds ideal, don't you? That depends on what it entails. I have a meeting coming up with the Draconian ambassador. I was thinking they might enjoy a little entertainment. After all, public execution is an evergreen industry. Well, I wouldn't call that ideal. No, I suppose you wouldn't. <laughs> I plan to take my time with you, girly. Nothing to say? A shame. I'll save that setting for later. I do hope you enjoy the pheasant, Ambassador. I think it's time we got on to business. Indeed. But first... I scheduled some entertainment for you. Entertainment? The terrorists who murdered Director Drucker and attempted to destroy this deal. I see. I thought you'd get a kick out of watching them die. How's up? Are you ready to get started? Oh, yes, Director. Wait! Yeah, just wait! Uh, yes, of course. If either of you would like to beg for your lives first, please go right ahead. Spices things up. Valgratulos, please reconsider this course of action. I know the Empire has fallen on hard times, but this is wrong. This is not the path to renewed glory. It will only lead to compromise and despair. I'm afraid the die has been cast. Then you leave me no choice. I invoke the sacred draconian right of trial by combat. You what? what? I see. No, I refuse to allow this. Execute them now, Hauser. Silence! What are your terms? We will do this in the old way. A duel to the death against the champion of your choosing. If I win, you let us go and cease your dealings with Fortuna Multiplanetary. And if you lose? Then our new director gets her entertainment. I can live with that. This guy's what? Five foot nothing? Very well. I accept these terms. I name Atashi Drell as my champion. It will be an honor to kill him for the Empire Ambassador. Choose your weapon wisely, Doctor, and show no mercy. You can expect none from me. Kaidak Dynasty. Yes. This will do. Once again, Doctor, this is not a plan. What do you mean, Nora? I mean, he's like double your size. Plus, he really looks like he can handle that thing. Yes, he does. I really don't think this is wise. I won't let him touch me, Nora. You'll see. Stand at positions. Prepare to take the threefold vow. One for truth, one for lies, one for the Empire. One for truth, one for lies, one for Come the on, Empire. Come on, Doctor. Ready? Yes. Ready. For Draconian! He blocked it! But that should have killed him! Yeah, get him in the face! Uh, you're stronger than you look. You're too kind, Drell. Now, let's see how you handle this. What? 
only a fool would drop their blade in the middle of trial by combat. Pick it up! No! I said pick it up! And I said no! How dare you! Is this really what you want to fight for, Drell? For the Draconians to be enslaved by these onerous dogs? Once you kill me, you condemn your people to servitude and decline. If that's the choice you want to make, then I won't give you the satisfaction of honorable combat against a worthy opponent. I won't give you a song worth singing. This was always going to be an execution. I see no point in deceiving ourselves that it could be anything else. So, Drell, honored servant of the Draconian Empire, what do you want? There is no honor to be found here. To hell with honor. You can kill him easily. Yes, but I cannot defeat him. I concede this duel to the Doctor. My life is his to do with as he chooses. You can't do this. I won't let you, you do this. You are not in a position to let him do anything, Director Rao. As of this moment, I am terminating our contract and lodging an official complaint to the Shadow Proclamation regarding your treatment of the Adipos. Your little operation ends today. Well, that's not good. No. No. This wasn't how it was supposed to uh, go. Director Rao, uh, this might be a bad time, but I'd just like to um, hand in my resignation. Goodbye. You ruined me. You ruined me. I will end you. Doctor, look out! <coughs> Let go of me, you filthy... Disgusting. Find some honor in defeat, dog. Thank you for that, Drill. And for listening. And you, Doctor. Thank you for opening my eyes. <laughs> well done. Well done, my boy. I'll make an ambassador of you yet. Thank you, Doctor. Your actions may have secured the future for our people. Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm just happy I could lend assistance. There's Doctor. no need to feign humility, my dear Doctor. No, I suppose not. Doctor. I was rather brilliant, was not Hey, Jack, yeah. Yes, Nora. Is something the matter? Hauser just got away. Oh. Why, yes, yes, it appears he did. That's a rather dreadful oversight, isn't it? Um, I'll just fix that really quickly. Drell... Could you just hand me that data pad, please? Yes, Doctor. Of course. What are you doing? Using Rao's executive clearance to wipe Hauser's finances. <laughs> I told him he'd pay. Flip. Are you all right, by the way, Nora? You seem perturbed. So what's going to happen to the Adipose? There's billions of them, and they have nowhere to go. That's a very good point, and one I've actually been giving quite a bit of thought. Ambassador Val. Yes, Doctor. I would like to ask you for one last favor. Go on. Last I checked, there are 24 suitable planets for the Adipos within the territory of the Empire. Please, let them live on one of those worlds. Under the protection of Draconia, the Adipos will have a chance to rebuild their civilization undisturbed by the muck of galactic politics and commerce. You are asking for a great deal, Doctor. I wish there was another way, but there isn't. Think about it. We could secure the future of two civilizations today. Very well. I shall accept your terms on one condition. One day, the Draconian Empire will call on you for assistance. You will answer that question. Well, as a noble of Draconia, I accept your condition gladly. Then it will be done. Thank you, Ambassador. So, that's really it? We won? We won. Huh. Is something wrong? No, it just... It feels... Good. Is... Is that weird? Only as weird as I am. Not as encouraging as Yes, you think. well, I think we should celebrate. How do the best holographic cocktails in the galaxy sound? Yeah, yeah. I could use a drink. Well then, I must bid you adieu, Val and Drell. It really has been quite the experience. Until next time, Doctor and Nora. 
Until the next time, Doctor, you owe me a rematch. <laughs> yes, I look forward to it. Come along, Nora. It's a long walk back to the TARDIS. Good point. Goodbye, you two. Stay out of trouble. Goodbye, my dear. And make sure you hold up your end of the bargain or I'll cut you by. What a peculiar pair. You're not wrong, Ambassador. You are not You aren't really going to give Drill that rematch, are you? I don't see why not. That was great logs, wasn't it? He could have killed you. I think I held my own quite well. I swear you're like a giant eight-year-old. Oh, have you know I've never received higher praise. I don't doubt that. Come on, you promised me a cocktail. 